All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barshim Shai. The highest value male there is. I would like to go into a comment that I read today and uh, just shine a little bit of light on this current thing that's going on among these different Hebrew Israelites when it comes to them being criticized or rebuked. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And this lesson will be entitled Rebuke Shaming. Okay? Or something to that effect. Anyway, this is from a post that a brother uh, Shapa of the Twelve put up earlier today. And the title of the, the post was, It's Gay Now to Defend the Truth? Amazing. So it's in reference to this statement that was made. I believe the brother was probably on uh, Twitter or what's known as X. And you got Hebrew Israelites that are on there or people that know that they're Israelites. I'll say it like that. So from this individual, Carl Waz, I believe that's how you would say it, or Carl Waz, he says, I think it's pretty gay that you brothers steady word about another man who teaches to keep the laws of God simply because of a disagreement in doctrine. Do y'all got anything else better to do? <clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakwadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutations to the hopeful that got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful that the believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scripture through faith in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And what I want to get into is a response, all right, to a lesson done by the other brother, not the Zakba, you know, dealing with, you know, Sakari followers, you know, trying to shame, you know, brothers for rebuking the madness, you know, that's been spewing forth, all right, from the leadership of the Sakari, you know, beginning with chief priests, all right, the great chief priest, all right, um, Alazar, and you have... His second in command, all right, Deacon Haka, okay, which are very powerful men, and they're waxing worse, you know. And at the end of the day, what you see is Jake, as just the elder said, Jake wants to be left alone in their wickedness. You see, what Jake is not about establishing a righteous kingdom in the earth. You see, Jake has a very immature mindset when it comes to the scriptures. And what we're seeing is men that are not fit. To be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, first they're in complete rebellion to Yahweh Shai. All right, because you go to the comment and it says, I think it's pretty gay that you brother steady worried about another man who teaches to keep the laws of the Most High simply because of disagreement in doctrine. Well, keeping the laws of the Most High, all right, isn't at the forefront of the doctrine. The laws are a beautiful thing and we can't wait. We absolutely can't wait till the earth is established under the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? But we're in a situation where our people first need to have a doctrine that's established on faith. And faith in what? Yahweh Shai. And what he's promised to come back to do. Okay? And then we began to conduct ourselves according to the righteousness of the scriptures. Alright? The main thing our people all right, have a problem with is idolatry. Okay, and being a slave to lust. Okay, now uh, uh, wearing uh, uh, all cotton, all right, it has nothing to do with being a slave to your lust, man, to the flesh in this society. All right, not getting the line up and not eating pork has nothing to do with, with being a slave to lust, man. You see, Jake just not getting it, it don't click to Jake. And see, with Jake, this is nothing but a continuation of the popular kids in high school. Wanting to be left alone and do what they want to do and establish their own thing. But nah, man, the Lord not dealing with that. And when we make these videos, it's not for uh, we don't expect, all right, uh, 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 
Sakari to repent, you know, the leadership. All right, we do this for edification of the, those that believe already and for the sake of the hopeful leg that might be amongst them, man. Okay, this ain't about no goddamn Sakari or, or, or you know, Alazar and, and, and Deacon Hakai. This is not about those guys, man. Okay, they're, they're just examples of what not to do and what not to be. Okay, and as Elder Yasha Woman said that the base spirit, all right, is bugging them guys out, man. All them debates are starting to bug them guys out, man. Okay, so it's getting to the point where they finna throw away the whole Bible after a while, man. <laughs> At the rate that they're going. Okay, because the New Testament is gone. Okay, and J. L. like it's a small, uh, 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 like it's a small disagreement. These men say Yahweh Shah shouldn't be worshipped, man. Okay, completely off. And this is what's going on because there's nothing new under the sun. I'll get a couple of precepts. I'm going to make this long. All right. We're just going to address these things. Okay. Now, when you go to the book of um, Judges, all right, 17 and 6. Okay. And it says, in those days, there was no king in Israel, but every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Okay, this is what we're seeing today. Everybody got their own doctrine. Everybody got their own standard of righteousness. Okay, everybody, you know, is the deepest you know, Hebrew teacher that ever existed. Okay, and everybody just wilding out. Okay, this is why you see the behavior, man. Going to camp with 30 guns and, you know, the hanging with the bloods and crips and all, you know, all Instagram clout chasing. You know, but then they try to hide under the banner. We teach the laws, though. We teach the laws, though. Well, if you teach the law, see, everybody love to talk about the law, the law, the law. But when you get into the law, okay, Jake don't want no part of this law, man. Okay, Deuteronomy 13 and 6, it says, If thy brother, this is the law, if thy brother, the son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or the wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is as thy own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, let us go and serve other gods which thou hast not known, thou nor thy fathers, namely of the gods of the people which are which are round about you, nigh unto thee, or far off from thee, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. Now you will say, Well, they not teaching to serve other gods. Well, they push Greek culture above Hebrew culture. Okay, and this Greek culture comes from a result of, of, of pagan gods you go into uh thuggo and diva those two uh, uh, uh El elamite deities man okay the, the worship of women the worship of money okay all that goes back into paganism pagan culture man so they push a culture okay there's that there's tied to another god man okay they're not directly telling you the, the, the worship of baal but the the, the culture and, and the mindset that they putting on you is putting you in the spirit of baal man Okay, and it said verse um eight. It says, "Thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him. Neither shall thy eye pity him, neither shalt thou spare, neither shalt thou conceal him." Okay, neither shalt thou conceal him. So if your mother was to come to you trying to push another guy, okay, you supposed to have no pity on your mother, man. You weren't supposed to conceal it. You couldn't protect your mother. Okay. See, everybody want to talk about the law and, and Jake want to protect these niggas and their wickedness, man. Nah, man, that's not our customs, man. Okay, we call things out. And this is the reason why we live in the most dysfunctional uh, culture that has ever existed in the earth. Because no one wants to say anything. No one wants to address wickedness, man. Okay? Keep going, it says, But thou shalt surely kill him. Thy hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterward the hands of the people, and thou shalt stone him with stones that he die, because he have sought to thrust thee away from the Lord thy power. Isn't it, it, so them telling you that Yahweh Shah shouldn't be worshipped, isn't that pushing you away from Yahweh Bashim Al Shah? Because if you don't accept the authority of Yahweh Shah, you don't have the heavenly father. Okay, and not only that, they're they're dismantling Yahweh Shah and his authority and the authority of the men, all right, uh, under Yahweh Shah. Okay, so they're pushing you away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's not no light thing. 
talking about some just because of disagreement and doctor. See, niggas don't get it, man. Niggas have a very junior high school, all right, understanding of what's going on. Okay? Jake just happened to be hanging around the popular crowd, man. That's why they defend these niggas with their life. But guess what? Yeah, you, you're going to have to defend them with your life come soon, man. You know, when judgment happens. All right? When the Lord opened up with judgment, man. Okay? It says, um, it says, And thou shalt stone him with stones that he died because he hath sought to thrust thee away from the Lord thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage. And all Israel shall hear and fear and shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you. Okay? So when you go to the law, the law, all right, by law, you got to call out wickedness. You got to call out deception and guile, man. You can't conceal these things, man. And what these guys doing is absolutely wicked, man. Okay? What Sakari doing is completely wicked and it's off, man. I don't care how many points them guys make in their videos and how much uh, knowledge they go into, man. Overall, them guys is off, man. Okay, them, those those men have ill intention. And it's going to get a lot of Israelites put to death in a horrible way. Okay? So we, we're saying this out of a warning, man. All right? But if you want to, and, and, and if you niggas want to continue to be fanboys and you saying this gay for rebuking, nah, man. That's that's integrity, man. That's 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 having a masculine frame, okay. When you can you can stand up against wickedness when when you the minority, man. When the majority of people are cool with the wickedness and you being a minority and you stand up to it, nah, man. That's manly, okay. All right, being gay is is is, is you fanboys, you Sakari fanboys that hold these nigga nuts while they go off, man. Okay, that's gay. All right. Defending these niggas in they wrong. That's gay, man. That's what the nigga woman does to, to, to her sons when they be dead wrong. She jumps to their defense. That's what the nigga woman does, man. J Apostle Rakai been saying, and I know people think Apostle Rakai just be talking, but he said that the, the, these niggas are a product of these goddamn women, man. Okay? They, do, they have the same reactions as the nigga woman, man, to every situation, man. And I'm seeing it more and more, man. You know? So let's go from there. Okay. I get two more. I'm gonna make this long. I'm reading. Alright. This is Sirach 32 and 17. It says a sinful man will not be reproved, but finding an excuse according to his own will. Okay, and this is what you see amongst a lot of these counts, man. The Sakari is at the forefront of it. Okay? Because they, 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 there's no reproving these guys. There's no way you can never be wrong. We wrong all the time. We be wrong as hell on some things, man. That we have to get reproved. Whether a brother reprove us or whether the spirit reprove us or the Lord jack us up. All right. And we get reproved. We get reproved all the time, man. We be wrong and off as hell on some things, man. But we're constantly getting better. Okay. We're constantly becoming more and more compatible for rulership, man. All right. But these guys, they're not even in the ballpark, man. Okay, the, 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 the big picture, they don't get it. They don't see it, man. And that's why they, they can't be reproved. And all they do is make an excuse, okay, to, to justify the BS. Okay, and you go here. This is the GNT, Sirach 32 and 17. Sinners will have no use for correction and will interpret the law to suit themselves, man. Okay, and, and Sakari, all right, they have mastered interpreting the law to suit they, they, they BS, man. Trying to provoke, uh, prove the Levitical priesthood, okay, is going to be in the kingdom by going to Ezekiel, you know, chapters 40 through 48, which, hey, the elder brother, the brothers in Dallas broke that down. They debunked that madness, man. Waiting on that response, okay? And then they go here, just to give you an example, okay? Just to give you an example, all right? So, When you go here, because you had the big thing about, you know, preaching with the hats on with their head covered. Okay. Um, let me see. Let's go here. Leviticus 21 and 10. 
Okay, now when you go here, Leviticus 21 and 10, it says, And he that is high priest among his brethren, upon whose head the anointing oil was poured, and that is consecrated to put on his garments, shall not uncover his heads, nor rend his clothes. Now they'll go to this precept, okay, and say, See, we 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 not supposed to preach with our heads uncovered, you know, and they use their precept to justify a fit it had during teaching, man. Okay, they use the law to uh, 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 justify their own will, but now they interpret the law. Okay, because when you go into what they're really saying, let's read this in the uh, NLT. All right, Leviticus 21 and 10 said, The high priest has the highest rank of all the priests. The anointing oil has been poured on his head, and he has been ordained to wear the priestly garments. He must never leave his hair uncombed. Okay, he must never leave his hair uncombed or tear his clothing. So their hair being his head being uncovered is talking about he got to groom himself, man, as the high priest because the high priest was decked out, man. Okay, but they'll use that or precept similar to it to justify a goddamn fitted hat, man. Okay, so it is what it is, man. And we're gonna we, we rebuke and you know, we're gonna and, and we rebuke for the sake of the elect, man. The hell would you, uh, 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 the, the leadership of Sakari, they're just gonna get worse and worse, and all you fanboys, man, okay, they, 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 they stand, all right, with these niggas in they wrong, man, all right, and we'll see how, matter of fact, yep, we get that, we'll end it on that, man. Let's get that in Proverbs. 13 and 20 right proverbs 13 and 20 it says he that walketh with wise men shall be wise but a companion of fools shall be destroyed okay a companion of fools shall be destroyed man so lord will man we we know we're walking with the wise men of yahweh by shima ain't no doubt about it man you know beginning with the apostles and elders on down we're walking with those wise men you know and those men moving in, in great humility man Okay, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed, man. So we all these companions of fools, all right, are gonna be destroyed, man. All right, and and, and them knowing that they're Israelites, they gonna be beat with many stripes, man. You know, so Lord will you brothers, all right, and you sisters edify to the next time I say shalom.